Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I would like to share with you the one finger picking technique that most finger pickers actually neglect. And it's a shame because it's a really awesome sound and it's actually pretty easy to produce. It doesn't uh, require you to learn anything new, just to use what you're doing in a different manner so you can get that banjo-ish, chicken picking-ish sound on an acoustic guitar. Now, um, I'm also gonna give you an exercise, a melodic exercise to try and create your own variations from. But first, let's talk about the technique. The technique is to use different fingers on the same string, okay? For example, if we're playing strings two, three, and four, we're using these three fingers, okay? Thumb and two fingers, okay? On strings two, three, and four. Now, if we play, okay, the, the notes separately, and we want to create a sort of, um, Travis picking thing. We're gonna add the G bass. Okay, but what if we don't? What if we use the same technique with our thumb going from the fourth to the third string? We get something like this. Okay, and this is really good for. Okay, for that chicken picking sound, um, okay, you can create really interesting expressions from it. But okay, this in itself, in and of itself, is pretty rhythmical and pretty cool, even without doing anything. So um, I would like you to pick strings four, three, 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 using thumb finger, thumb finger. get the Travis picking sound, but on the same string. Because once you use the thumb, you get pum, 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 you get a rhythm. Okay, and I'm, okay, I'm plucking on purpose. Now when you use the second string as well, okay, you get a different expression of the same technique. It's strings four, two, and then three, three. Okay? It's thumb, finger, thumb, finger. And you don't really need to use two fingers for the two strings. You can just use one of them. Okay? You can also do four, three, three, two. So practice this first, okay, the patterns. And once you're used to this, you can just uh, play these strings, two, three, and four, and you can bar frets five and seven and go back to the open strings randomly, okay? If you do it slowly, You get pretty interesting results because this is G, C, and D. Okay, you don't have to do much in terms of fingering, but you can get really amazing sounds from this. Okay, so. examples here. Now, if I would play it slowly, you'll see that it's exactly what I showed you. It's It's just 
just a matter of moving your finger here, your barring finger at the right moment, whenever you choose. You can also add the bar on three for B flat. of options to explore here. It's just noodling around, but once you have the technique going, okay, you can create really interesting sounds because of the dynamics here, because you're changing from a finger to the thumb, and that creates all the difference. So practice this technique. It's a really neat uh, trick to have up your sleeve, um, even when soloing. Okay. <laughs> Hey, you, it can create really interesting results. Try it out. I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.